this facility, they're milking around 1,500 head of cows. Um, they have their own on-site nutritionist that takes care of, of the diet for the cows to both maximize cow health as well as milk production, which is the main reason for farming. Um, so if you look behind here, each bunker is set up with different, different numbers, like the first one you see is 5B, 6B, all the way through. All these bunkers are labeled from what field they came off of, what nutritional value the feed has in it, whether it's grass silage, corn silage, um, they have alfalfa too. <clears throat> so what you see there is the tractor with a mixer. The loader will take different scoops, different scoops from different bunkers, and so he'll get the proper mixture of corn silage, grass silage, there's alfalfa that they have in there, along with the vitam vitamins and minerals, they'll come out of these chutes. Um, everything gets weighed and rationed into that red mixer wagon. Around the corner they have all their, their feeds, their corns, all that kind of stuff to make the proper diet for, to say for a cow, to try and maximize the milk production that they will put out. Um, on that truck, they have it down to such a science that on there there's a scale so they weigh in exact rations of each thing. So it's not, you just don't scoop it and dump it, it's, it's a lot more scientific than that. And then every group of cows will get a different mixture depending on the older cows that aren't producing as much milk might not get as high energy of a mixture compared to some of the younger ones that produce a lot of milk. So every, every alley gets a different mixture. Now Andy, um, in seeing that you've got the different mixtures uh, for the different age of the cow or the yep. different type of cow, do you guys, is there any way of determining or have you noticed uh, different methane production from different uh, feed rations? Uh, is that... it, it depends on the animal. Your younger animals will eat more. Mm -hmm. So then of course they will produce more manure, which is then in turn we get more methane off of it. Some okay. of the older animals that are getting towards the end of their milking career, they won't eat as much. They're not fed as, as much as the younger animals. Okay, okay. So it's more uh, the volume of manure as opposed to uh, the makeup the, of the feed? Correct. Okay. The, the makeup of the feed does have, and there's a bunch of science behind it that I don't know, mm -hmm. but the makeup of the feed does change the gas quality that we can get. Yep. There's, there's all kinds of chemicals in the, in the gas that's produced, mm -hmm. which can be directly correlated back to the feed, but you get into a whole other realm of, of science there. All right. Is the, is the trade-off for that then that the cow's health, like the milk production, if you're optimizing your gas output by changing the feed, does that negatively impact the cow's that health? That would negatively impact like, the is cow's that, health. Is that a larger consideration? Yeah, for... yeah. But on, on any farm, and I think any farm will always tell you, no matter what, the cow is always first. The cow's health is first. Milk's first, right? Mel well, the cow is first because if the cow is healthy and happy, then they're going to give more milk. If a cow is stressed, the milk production will go down or unhealthy. And... Well, you got to realize, too, that the amount of methane that's being generated is from undigested food, primarily. Yeah. So if you have more methane being produced from the manure, that means that they're not getting necessarily a diet that they're able to fully digest and get the energy out of. So that, that would make yeah. sense. Any other questions on the feeding side of things? Okay, once, once that guy gets his, his load mixed inside there, there's a bunch of mixers. So once he gets everything in there, he'll mix it all up and stir it all up and drive down the alleys and that, that mixer will shoot the feed out at whatever speed he goes. Okay. And it <clears throat> pretty much puts a whole row of food in front of the cows to eat at free choice however much they want. How many times do you uh, I believe they feed three times a day. These, these cows on this facility are milked three times a day, so every time they go out, they're, they're refed. 